after all the bullshit we've just heard, I think I should share with you all a little joke, which is, what's black and blue and doesn't like sex? Have you heard this one? What's black and blue and doesn't like sex? The four-year-old girl in the boot of my car. <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous joke then. Great of myself, of course. But uh, could the two chuckleheads up the back there please get a hold of themselves? It was funny, but it wasn't that funny, all right? If you're all lucky, I might have some more jokes about child molestation and infanticide to share later on. Well, now that I've broken the ice a little, I'd like to welcome you all to this year's garden scat party, which we've unfortunately been forced to hold indoors due to the rain that's been pouring down since last night. It gives me an immense feeling of pleasure and pride to host this event every year, and it gives me cause to reflect upon the proud history of this time on a tradition we call scat munching. And I'd like to bring you all to a stage where... You'll all have some appreciation of this history. From the time of Alexander the Great and through to the Caesars, up through the reigns of Charlemagne and Louis the Sixteenth, right up to the present day in the Oval Office in Washington DC, even a half jungle bunny president knows that the practice of coprophagia is one of the hallmarks of royalty and nobility and authority and just all those things which are noble and elevate a man to godhood. And I'm sure you'll all have noted by now, do that again and you'll be thrown out. I simply won't tolerate that sort of rudeness. We're all hungry, but the scat's not going anywhere and I haven't finished my speech yet. So then, we're participating today in one of the most exciting things that you could imagine. The consumption of scat is an act of profound religious significance which connects us mortals with the divine. Shows your dick, Richie. What? Shows your fucking dick, right, security, he's out. <laughs> I've warned him already to pull his head in. He's insisted on being disruptive, so now he can just miss out. He'll give his share of the scat to someone else. I've got no sympathy for him at all. Fuck you, Richie! There's absolutely no need for people like that at this sort of event. Anyhow, moving on from that obscene little interruption we just had here. Entrees tonight, we have a choice of two, which are after grog bog baguettes, courtesy of Booney. And also, we have a lovely meconium Kilpatrick, my favourite by far, which comes served inside a child's nappy, with juicy cuts of prime bacon, which some people don't care for, but it's absolutely to die for with a little Dijon mustard or Worcestershire sauce. And I can assure you all here and now, that's certainly what will be on my plate. You can't beat a little meconium, full stop. I hope you all enjoy yourselves tonight. And as my French forefathers would say, Bon appétit. Fuck you, Richie, you fucking old cunt! Richie!